In other news tonight, coming together in prayer in a time of terrible grief, it is a story we have been following a family as well as a church family, remembering two of its own gone after what police say was a murder-suicide. Eyewitness News reporter Kim Kalunian joins us live now with more. Kim? Well, Jared, many people very emotional today at this service. Our cameras were not allowed inside the church, but the congregation did graciously allow me to sit in on this ceremony where many offered memories of the Randall family. A solemn ceremony at the First Congregational Church in Bristol Sunday afternoon. Dozens gathered for a service honoring the memory of the congregation's former pastor, Daniel Randall, and his daughter, Claire. Inside a parish grieving the loss of two beloved members while grappling with the horrific circumstances surrounding their deaths. State police in Maine say Daniel Randall shot and killed his daughter, Claire, in their Hebron, Maine home and then turned the gun on himself. Police say he had just left an alcohol treatment center that morning. His wife had served him divorce papers the same week. Neighbors tell us the Randall family had just moved from Bristol to Maine this summer following Randall's resignation as pastor of the Bristol Church in January 2015. He led the congregation for 12 years. At Sunday's service, there were tearful remembrances of Claire's beautiful voice and Randall's inspiring leadership from the pulpit. Another former pastor said today Randall had clearly become unmoored from his faith. He urged the congregation not to do the same, but to stay strong in this time of grief. And as one woman who shared her thoughts and memories at today's service said, even though the lives of Dan and Claire Randall came to a tragic end, she and others will always have memories of the better times to hold on to. Kim Kalunian, Eyewitness News.